CData Arc is a no-code B2B integration platform that streamlines the process of exchanging data with your business partners and aligning that data with your back-end systems. One industry that benefits from sophisticated B2B automation is healthcare, in part because you frequently need to communicate between service providers, insurance providers, and employers, but also because the ability to format and validate data is important when governed by strict regulations like HIPAA and FHIR. ARC supports FHIR in order for healthcare companies to remain compliant when communicating with partners that mandate FHIR adherence. ARC does this in two ways. The first is through the dedicated FHIR connector. This connector implements the FHIR transfer API, allowing you to communicate with FHIR servers. When business partners want to or need to exchange data with you in a FHIR compliant way, you can use the FHIR connector. To see how simple the FHIR connector is, I've created a test FHIR server hosted in AWS using Amazon HealthLake. To connect to this FHIR server, which represents your partner's communication server in this case, I can simply create a new connection, then give it a helpful name. Next, set the connection type to AWS, and thus the authentication type to AWS keys, and then continue by copying in a few basic values that I can easily glean from my AWS instance, the URL, and the credentials in the form of an access key and a secret key. You might have noticed that we also support generic connections to non-AWS FHIR servers, but our test server just happens to be in AWS. OK, so we've confirmed that this connection works, and now we want to start interacting with the data in the server. I'll set the action here to select, and that means we're pulling down data from the server. Perhaps our partner alerts us to new healthcare claims by populating the server, and we need to go pull down any new claims that we need to process. Well, the last step is to choose the tables, or data objects, that we're interested in. So if I click Add Table, then Arc will dynamically read the available data objects within this particular server and show them here. I'll choose the one that's relevant, in this case Claim, and hit OK. The UI populates with all the properties of a claim, and I could modify this by adding rules and filters, but for now we'll just keep things simple and go with the default. If I head to the Output tab, I can manually hit the Receive button to pull down new claims from the server and there we can see a new set of claims pulled down in real time. Now, normally I'd use automation so I don't have to manually receive these claims, but this is just for the sake of the example. In fact, let's download one of these claims and open it up so we can see this claim information as it's been received by ARC in an XML format. So here we can see that the claim data was taken from the FHIR server and is now in a workable XML format. So now we've confirmed that ARC is able to connect to FHIR servers and access the data therein. Now that ARC has gotten the claim data as XML, it has other connectors that can map and manipulate XML data so that you can integrate these claims into your backend, or maybe generate a CSV file or perform whatever further processing you need. Two examples of this further processing are the XML map connector, which is ARC's workhorse data transformation connector, and the validate connector, which performs validation checks based on customized rules. These two connectors are good examples of the second way in which ARC allows you to comply with FHIR regulations. FHIR includes certain rules governing what sets of values are allowed to appear in certain healthcare records, so you might need to check that your data is structured appropriately and contains valid values. Using the validate connector and the conditional logic present in the XML map connector, you can ensure that your data fits the FHIR standard, or at the very least, you're alerted via an error if a malformed record is being processed. So with the FHIR connector to establish connections via the FHIR API, and data transformation connectors to ensure that your data always matches the FHIR standard, you can rest assured that you can always communicate with any business partners that require or prefer using FHIR. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources at arc.cdata.com.